as much as they're, they're using air power, uh, it's a very flexible form of uh, military application, you know, and can be done in immediate sense. And we have stunning weaponry. Uh, certainly nowadays, compared to when I flew tornadoes, the, the, the weapons are superb. But what effect do they seriously think they're going to have? I, I find it a bit of tokenism, to be honest. I mean, how many tornadoes did we use, for example, in, in the first Gulf War in which you flew? Uh, significant numbers, I'm assuming. Yeah, in the first Gulf War, there were probably 80, 90 tornadoes, I'm assuming, involved. I don't know the precise figures, but, you know, there are a lot of squadrons out, out in, uh, in the first Gulf War, added to which all the other aeroplanes from all the other nations as well. Uh, whereas uh, where we're flying, it, it seems to be very much, you know, two or three tornadoes at a time, uh, covering a huge expanse with no real... Uh, the first Gulf War, you had very specific targets, airfields, tanks, etc. Whereas it's now uh, a, a more disparate uh, force that you're, you're trying to find before you even uh, know what you're going to, to hit. So really needle in haystack territory, two planes just to a vast area, trying to find a target? Uh, to a degree it is two aircraft trying to find a target. Um, but I think this is a political statement rather than a military statement. Uh, but I, my fear is the fact that uh, we've underestimated the ISA forces from the moment uh, they've started this, this progression, both on the ground, because they're just outside Baghdad, but who's to say the tornadoes, I'm assuming there's no, that we have air supremacy, but who's to say that they haven't captured any sort of... Uh, uh, air defence system, you know, that they could use against the tornado. Um, so that could create a, a hugely complex scenario given the level of assets that we have out there. And I don't know what assets are out there, but how we, our extraction processes, uh, what protection the tornadoes have beyond the self-protection systems they have, that is, that from an outside view now would be my uh, thinking. Bearing in mind your history and what happened to you in the first Gulf War, um, do you fear for pilots flying over Iraq now? Because, as you say, we don't know about any weapon systems that may be capable of taking down a tornado, but there are still inherent risks in flying a tornado that could result in, in someone having to bail out over Iraq. I would assume that there is not a massive threat to the air assets or the tornadoes we have. Uh, and those will have been taken into consideration. But notwithstanding that, where, you know, tornadoes can, you know, what if you have an engine failure? What if something catastrophic happens where the crews had to bail out?